Hey guys, Kelly Fab here, and today I am introducing a brand new project pan, and this is a collab with a bunch of ladies here on YouTube and on Instagram. So I'm going to list them really quickly because I do have a list here on my phone and I will also leave it down below so you guys can get to know some of these ladies if you haven't yet. And you know, go check out their channels, go check out their Instagrams. And most of us are going to be posting here on YouTube, but a lot of us are going to be po posting on Instagram as well so that you can keep up with us either way. I'm probably going to post in both places. I don't know. I don't discriminate against Instagram because I love Instagram, but nonetheless, let me list out all the lovely ladies that are in this. So Angela, Beauty by Angela actually was the creator and the idea goer of this collab. So thank you so much Angela for including me in this. I really really appreciate it and I'm so excited. And then also we have Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. She's um, on Instagram and on YouTube. And then Amanda and her channel name is Amanda D. And, and she is Makeup Junkie 80 on Instagram. And then Kyra which is Journey in Beauty and she's also the same on Instagram. And then Jessica or Jessica Lee and her Instagram is Jessica Lee period three. And then Shay from Lipstick Lashes and Wine. I'm sure you guys know her at Lipstick Lashes and Wine as well on Instagram. And then obviously me here on YouTube. And then my Instagram that I'm going to be posting on is CaliFab underscore beauty. So if you guys want to check out my Instagram there. And then also the two ladies that are only going to be posting on Instagram are Brandy at BrandyRenee84 and Kathy at Panitude. Like attitude, but Panitude. I like it. This project pan collab is called Spell It Out. So basically what Angela did was each one of us are getting three letters of the alphabet and we can get repeat letters. So you might see somebody that has the same letters as me or they might have the same letters as each other and that's kind of what makes this fun. So basically she put in random.org just three random like numbers one through 26 corresponding with each of the letters of the alphabet and I got the letters J, S, and W and basically all we had to do was pick out a product non-makeup related so not eyeshadow, not lipstick, not blush, none of those things and decide to pan it. So basically this is going to run from right now May 10th to August 10th and we are going to be updating every single 10th of the month. So May 10th, June 10th, July 10th, and then August 10th will be the finale and we're all hoping to finish up all of these products. So all of the updates should be relatively short. So we're all going to leave a link of our playlist of all of our videos so you guys can check out each and every one of us if you want to. They should be relatively short after this because it's just going to be quick updates. So I know I have a lot of long videos on my channel, but hopefully having more shorter ones will be a little bit more intriguing for you guys <laughs> because I tend to have longer videos because I'm long-winded. What can I say? Anyway, so I want to get started on the products that I chose. For the letter J, this should be of no surprise to anyone, I chose the Jergens Natural Glow Wet Skin Moisturizer and this is completely full. It's brand new. So it is up to here. I'm kind of looking at it through the light and it's right up here at the top of the J. So I will be marking that after this. So every bit of progress. Hopefully I can get this whole entire thing used up in the next, what, four months I guess it is. And I'm really excited because I really do like these and I think this will be perfect for the summer. I do have the medium to tan skin tones. If you guys have watched my channels, my channel previously, you know that I always choose the darker skin tones than what I am because typically I would be a light to medium skin tone. But because I want an actual tan off of this, I choose the medium to tan and I don't use this every single shower. I use it like every other shower and I always rinse off my hands after. So if that helps you guys, you know, make a decision about it or not. I don't know what to tell you. I really like it. It always works for me. And I don't, I try not to rub it around my like knees and my ankles and my wrists and stuff too often because then it kind of, you know, it balls up and it looks orange on you. And I don't like that look. So I use it every other shower. And you guys know I don't shower every single day because it's really bad for my skin and my hair. But I use it every other and I'm really excited to get this used up and out of my shower. Oh, and also if I do end up using up a product, I am going to be rolling in products. We didn't kind of like make rules about that. 
but that's my plan so if I do use this up before the finale I do plan on you rolling in a different J product it'll probably be another Jergens like just the Jergens lotion because I do have that as well but anyways that is my plan personally I don't know what the other ladies have planned but I'm sure you will find out in their intro videos today as well the next product I have is for the letter S and this one was like the easiest one to pick because I feel like S is like everywhere and everything but I don't want to use it up. I kind of talked about this previously in my April favorites video and I really love it but it is getting quite old. Like I distinctly remember buying this like right when I was moving in with my husband and that was like eight years ago. Like that was a long time ago. I was 18 when I moved in with my husband. Yeah, so that was eight years ago. And this is old and it needs to get used up. As much as I love it, I'm gonna try to find the scent again, but I chose the Body Fantasies Cotton Candy Fantasy. I love this one so much. It smells just like the day I bought it. It's so beautiful. Oh, I love it so much. Anyway, so my plan with this is to completely use it up and then I have another Body Fantasies in the Cucumber scent but the pump is broken on it. So I plan on taking this pump out of here and putting it into that one and making that one work and rolling that one in after this one's done. Because like I said, even if this is done, because I'm sure I can get this done in a couple weeks, even if this one's done, I don't want to just leave a project with just two items. It's kind of silly. So I plan on rolling in other items and especially these body mists and stuff. I've been really getting into different flavors and spring flavors, flavors, scents and spring scents for the springtime and summer and fall and stuff like that. I really like to mix it up. So that is what I plan on doing with this one. And I'm really excited to finally use it up, but I'm definitely looking for it. So once again, if you know where to find this, let me know. I need it more in my life. And the very last letter that I was that was chosen for me is a W and I chose to go with the simple micellar cleansing water. Get it? Yeah. Anyways, this is a step that I notice is lacking in my skincare routine, especially at night after I take my makeup off. So typically what I would end up doing with this is I would take my makeup off with my Neutrogena wipes. You guys know I love those. And then I would wash my face or, you know, put the oil on my face, wash my face, and then I would be like, okay, I'm good to go. But I have been noticing when I've been using this after I wash my face, I still get more makeup off my face. So that is my plan to use with this is to do this after I wash my face just to make sure my whole face is completely cleansed of all the makeup and all the residue because I don't want anything left over that could possibly cause any kind of breakouts because my skin has been doing so well lately. I don't want to go back. <laughs> I don't want to go back. So I'm going to use this and get all the makeup off my face and then if need be, I'll wash again. But that is my plan to use with this. And this is pretty much, I got this pack at Costco and it was like a three pack so I have so I had like this big or this medium size one a teeny tiny little travel one which I'm actually saving and then a very very large like refill one so I plan on using this one because the very large one is just not a realistic size for any of my makeup areas and I want to keep that large size one to refill the travel one after I travel and to refill this one when it's getting down a little bit lower so that's my plan, I plan on using this, and yeah, that's my W letter. So that is the whole Spell It Out project pan that was created by Angela, Beauty by Angela, here on YouTube and on Instagram. So once again, thank you so much for including me in this collab, I'm so excited to see what everybody chose. I know that we have like an Instagram message going on and everybody was kind of talking about what everybody was gonna choose, but nobody like made anything official on there because I think we're all kind of excited to see what everybody chooses. So I'm so excited to find out what everybody has ended up choosing and I can't wait to see everybody's updates and see how well everybody does. I know I'm hoping to be doing really, really well because there are products that I can definitely use on a daily basis. Well, minus the wet skin moisturizer, that's gonna be like an every shower basis, but everything else I can definitely use on a daily basis. And I'm so, so excited to start using up these products and to really get some more stuff out of my collection and 
get some stuff out of my way basically because <laughs> I have lotions and stuff that I can use besides the wet skin moisturizer and I have other body sprays and I have other um, micellar water so definitely want to use some of this stuff up and keep going on all of it and get the old out and bring the new in so anyways I hope that you guys are gonna love this series of the Spell It Out Project Pan collab and I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are and I will see you in the next one. Bye!